Not sure if anyone saw this coming, but city leaders went to court to get a judge to force the zoo from removing any of the animals. Tonight, there's a fair amount of confusion about exactly who's in charge here. A judge issued a temporary restraining order Friday against the zoo board known as the Jackson Zoological Society. Uh, the Office of the City Attorney is pleased with the judge's decision this morning. That's all we have to say. Thank you. Look, let me ask you, what, what's the city trying to do here? No further comments on it. Thank you. Jackson leaders filed an injunction after they say they found out a member of the board planned to illegally move six-year-old giraffe named Knox from the animal park. They say under the lease agreement with the zoo, the city owns all the animals. I echo what Mr. Howard said. Attorney Sam Begley represented the city in a five-minute chancery court hearing. According to Begley, board member Jimmy Hendricks told city council president Virgie Lindsay he would take the giraffe to the McLean Lodge in Rankin County, which has a petting zoo. The city also wants the judge to force the zoo to fork over the $6 million in unpaid water bills. And they want to be reimbursed for the $350,000 in state bond money they say the zoo misappropriated. The city paid the money back to the state. Former zoo executive director Beth Pop was ousted a year ago after she admitted to misappropriating state funds. Now, we reached out to the zoo for comment. They told us, a spokesman told us, to call the mayor's office. Tonight, the mayor's office also tight-lipped and not coming. For now, we're live at the Jackson Zoo, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.